So, I would like to show you here these different steps that you probably need to take to achieve this modular character. Uh, I'm going pretty fast, so let's explain. Uh, obviously, you need a model. I got this model from this template from the Make Human software, and then I retopologized a lot of parts and adapted it to my to my taste. So, at this point, uh, I wouldn't care about the normal maps and everything because it's better to have the model like properly done and then add the details. At this time, it's not worth it. So, for example, what I like to do is do a simple rig and check that everything works okay. Then you separate the messes in the parts you want and perform some UVs. It's okay that Blender allows you to perform UVs on different in different parts. Um, yeah, well, for example, some of the textures, by the way, are like stretched for getting more advantage of the space of the texture. And yeah, when you perform the UV, it has to be done in one UV for each part. That's important. That's important because it is. At this point, I think it's a good idea to to bake the detail. I'm not baking the high frequency detail because I'm doing that on texture. Um, only the general shapes that are going to be shared amongst uh, the parts. Um, so you have to bake it uh, with care because by being different parts and I mean uh, if you don't have the, the vertex normals pointing to the same direction, uh, baking is going to break between different parts in the normal map. So you have to bake the normal map on a single piece or at least the uh, pieces that are, that are connected. For example, you can bake this in one way, but this should be baked together. And yeah, you rejoin it. And yeah, if you want to texture it in, for example, Substance Painter, as I did, uh, Substance Painter needs the one single mesh, but with four materials. So you assign four materials, export it. And once you import it, you, you have these different materials here as a different sets. What is the problem? That this is hand painted and it's supposed to be one material with the complex layers and a lot of stuff there, but it needs to be the same material in four different texture sets. And that's a problem. That's a problem because uh, there are different UVs, different parameters. You have to be so careful. And when you do this kind of instance layers, uh, you have to take in consideration that you can't paint the masks across the texture sets and it's it's quite tricky and yeah you you would you wouldn't have either the same resolution on the on the textures because the face obviously needs far more resolution than the legs for example so yeah this is more or less oh what I was telling before um, I tend to do the high frequency detail here like pores and even some wrinkles and, and stuff. I tend to do that in, in on texture directly, like in Substance Painter. Uh, why? Because if I have a mess of four gigabytes or of detail with a lot of geometry and detail and everything, but you want to change something, you have to go back and bake it again. And sometimes it's time consuming and not worth it for the detail. In this way, you are always see which, which is the level of detail that you are going to have. Do I explain? <laughs> so sometimes I think it's more productive sometimes to make some sort of details directly on on the normal map. So you can see that how it's going to look easier and you can change that and tweak that far more easier. So at this point you can mess with the blend shapes. It's really handy that Blender allows you to edit different blend shapes at the same time but you have to be extra careful because if you are right now editing this for example it's going to screw the other part so be always sure that you are editing everything at the same time and yeah pretty much you are ready you will need to assign an armature well this armature that you used so it's going to maintain and keep the vertex info and it should work so let's see how to export it and, and how to import it. <laughs> 